candy and welcome back to my channel hello i hope you're doing well so i know this kind of video is kind of old but i still watch them and i've been wanting to do them on my channel for a while so i figured why not start in 2022 monthly favorites there's so much that happens in a month things that i buy things that i watch things that i use that i don't have time to talk about in this particular monthly favorites i have categories of fashion makeup slash beauty tech and just miscellaneous things that don't really fit into one category. I'm super excited to share and I hope you enjoy it. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. That means so much to me. Please be sure to click that bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. And if you want to see more monthly favorites, be sure to let me know by clicking the thumbs up button. Let's start with fashion. As y'all know, I'm a plus size person that really is into cute pink pastel colors. I actually found a lot of really cute clothing. I found some really cute pieces at Target. I posted a TikTok about it if you want to check it out. I found this really really cute like knit sweater. It's a baby blue and it has a pink mountain range and then on the bottom it has like a pasture. It does have red in it and then green. I do wish it was kind of just all like shades of green but it's still really really cute and it's really comfortable and I like the neckline. Uh, with sweaters like this I find that I don't really like the high neckline but this one I don't know. It, it was it fits so nicely and it's so comfortable. It's in a size 2XL and it's by the brand Wild Fable. This next thing that I found at Target, oh my god, I was freaking out. I saw it online. I didn't know if they were gonna make it in plus sizes. They did. The last Target that we went to, we found the very last one in my size. It's this really cute Hello Kitty by Sanrio Cardi and Cami set. I actually wore this in my last video and I've worn it on my streams and TikToks. I'm literally so obsessed with it. it is so cute it's a nice sunshine like yellow it's not like a mustard yellow and it has little cherries all over it i will say that this is like a crop top to say the very least it literally looks like a bra i personally don't mind that because i wear it again for videos or streams and you don't see it does stretch out and when it stretches out it kind of becomes sheer if you can see those cherries there <laughs> when they're stretched out it really distorts the image and you can see it makes it like very transparent on the left side of the cardigan over the chest it does have a hello kitty on it it's super cute i think it looks cute on camera but definitely i would not recommend it to wear out unless you're comfortable with crops and everything i personally am not i'm really tired of crop things i'm tired of that cut but if you don't mind it i definitely recommend it it's super cute if you can find it at target hot topic has been on point so far with their sanrio and valentine's day items they have a my melody and karomi line the first is this really really cute t-shirt it's a very slight pastel tie-dye and it is so cute my melody and like sleepwear this is my melody and I love the little heart it looks like a vintage like valentine but then on the back it has corona like this design is just so so darling i ordered this in a 3xl and i picked up this my melody top it has this really really cute collar and the buttons are little hearts it has a little my melody patch here i got this in a size 2x because i found it in the store and that was the only size they had i can't wear it with this closed i have to like unbutton it and then it looks weird so then i have to put a cardigan over it because of the sleeve that's my only thing with it it's really cute i don't know if i don't think i'm allowed to return it because i ripped the tags off because i was so excited i wish the sleeves fit me but it's just so sweet i can't it's my melody it's my melody i have to keep it and then the final item of the clothing from their valentine's day line this really really cute skirt all i think that's what you call it the skirt overall it's a cute all over pink with red hearts pattern and then right here on the chest i don't know if you can kind of see it it's like a big heart in the middle we'll admit though i thought this was a pocket and it's not i don't really understand the point i ordered it in a size three it is so so cute and comfortable i've already worn it and i'm obsessed with it however i do wish that they had changed these imagine if they were pink or like a red or like had a heart here in the middle i think that would have been really pretty besides that you can't go wrong with pink and red hearts all over like it's super super cute the next category we're gonna go into makeup slash beauty with glamnetic i use their magnetic eyelashes and like i seriously like i know i did a video working with them i tried to wear lashes in high school and it was a hot mess now i can't stop wearing lashes specifically their magnetic lashes the ones that I'm wearing today are the ones called banger I never thought I'd be able to apply 
lashes like and they look so cute for ColourPop I've also been using these two palettes from them a lot uh, by the rose and feeling bubbly these palettes are just so pretty feeling bubbly is like a really like kind of champagne really cute neutral palette and I've been using a lot of the shimmery ones like for nose highlight and by the rose is also another like neutral palette I've been using this shade effervescent uh, for under my eyes right here I really like the how would you describe it it's like you look like you had no sleep and also from ColourPop, I've been like using their overnight lip mask from the Powerpuff Girls collection. Specifically this one, it's the sugar and spice one. Especially recently, it's been really dry. I put the lip mask on and it is so comfortable. It's really, really helped my lips. So now I guess let's talk about tech. First one I want to talk about is this thing back here. It's the Pixu 64 from Zavoom. It's this really, really cute LED pixel art display. It's so cool. I've had their Pixu Max and their Pixu and this is like the next size up i've been obsessed with it it looks so good the next one i have to talk about is this heart microphone from quiet lighting that was actually my last video if you want to see a review video on this microphone y'all went off on that video and also on the tiktok and the reel y'all really really liked it as you should i love this microphone it's such a good usb microphone this is one of the tech items i've been obsessed with in january another item i've been really obsessed with in january are these rgb cat ear wireless headset from somi i've worked with them before and i have their wired headset and then they came out with a wireless one and they were kind enough to send me it it comes with like a wireless receiver that you just plug into a usb port on your computer i had no issues connecting to it and like it's just so cute like i could literally like wear this the rest of the video and it looks so cute it's really comfortable and it comes with these really cute replacement like plates for the sides of the ears and it has a really cute cat design the rgb design and quality of them is just so good let me know if you want a full video reviewing them because I can go on and on about this headset I don't know if these would be considered tech my next favorite are these really really cute fidgets from a business called Ziti makes I did an unboxing over on my Instagram I love using fidgets especially when I'm editing or just like streaming and I'm nervous these are just so cool cuz like that sound is so nice and then what and it's just so much fun to just press on these i'll literally take these on drives when i'm hanging out with my boyfriend and you'll just see me like my next monthly favorite i think every month i'll do like the mouse pad of the month because i love mouse pads if y'all don't know i definitely want to do a youtube video dedicated to my mouse pad collection because i love mouse pads and i'm always like switching them up the mouse pad i was using this month is this really cute one from personal loot it's a collab between them and artist beth on Wii. it looks like a video game i love that design concept i love the color that it brings to my pc setup i've been using this like since like christmas i so this is definitely my mouse pad of the month and then for the last part miscellaneous things that don't really fit into any category in january the show that i was watching besides like wandavision because i rewatch wandavision like every month i love that show it's kind of random but uh, I got really into like Karate Kid and Cobra Kai. I had seen the first Karate Kid, but I, I didn't know they made more. My boyfriend's like very serious. Uh, but then one day we were hanging out. I was just on my phone and he was on his phone. And I just heard him gasp. And I literally in my entire life have never heard him gasp. And I was like, why are you gasping? And he was watching Cobra Kai. And I was like, well, I want to watch this. It must be good if it's making you like gasp. So we watched the Karate Kid movies. And then I started watching Cobra Kai. And now I need the next season now and i need a sweater with the cobra kai logo on it that was my favorite show of january i think i got a show squish my love of the month because i love squishmallows this big girl might have noticed her earlier in the video just got her it's a watermelon my melody squishmallow from costco.com i think she'll be perfect for summer my favorite ones to collect are the valentine's day ones i think they're so cute every year i dread when it's valentine's day just because i know i gotta spend money so this is one of the new valentine's day squad ones her name is albina she's just a pink dog she has pastel pink and hot pink the only thing is that she came with like a huge initial on her tummy i don't know anyone whose name starts with a k please let me know in the comments if your name starts with a k because then i'll just think of you when i see the squishmallow i was so happy to get Christina. i think that's how you say her name she's a really cute pastel pink and she has a little pastel like fur up here they're just so cute i was so so happy to get them january was the month i got into fungo pops i told myself i wouldn't get into fungo pops because that's another thing i don't want to spend money on last year they came out with a valentine's day star wars collection and i didn't get it and i 
regret it so when they came out with it this year i was like i'm getting them i'm limiting myself to only getting either pink themed ones or valentine's day themed ones or scarlet witch slash wanda maximoff ones and two daredevil ones that are like on my dream list i know if i don't limit myself it's gonna become a problem i'm so happy that i'm able to get their star wars ones uh their star wars valentine's day ones this year are so cute they're all like based off mandalorian uh which i love that show like look at little grogu he's eating cookies he's so cute and those were all my monthly favorites for january 2022 i would love to know in the comments what were some of your monthly favorites in january and thank you so much again for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't already please be sure to click that subscribe button it really helps out the channel and it would really mean a lot to me if you're already subscribed thank you so much i really really appreciate it please be sure to click that bell icon that way you're notified whenever i post a new video and if you want to see more monthly favorites please let me know by clicking the thumbs up button and thank you again so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in a new video next week i hope you have a great and magical wonderful day bye